Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a video where I will talk about things that I usually don't talk about and I am going to show you show you show you five neutral palettes that I really like. First I was like five palettes that I neutral palettes that I love and then I was like I don't love five neutral palettes. Hell no. So these are five palettes that I really really like that are pretty neutral so I am just going to start with them and I guess that you can guess two of these palettes because I talk about them sometimes so the first palette that has been like super favorite of mine before I don't use it that much but it is a really good palette and that is the Meet Matte Nude I have three of the Meet Matte and this one was the first and the first one I got and I really like this. I don't use it as much as I said but it is a good palette. It looks like this. And now when I'm like more into color I am like looking at these palettes I'm like... What? Is this fun? No it's not. So what I really like about this palette is that you can go super dark if you want to. And you can also go pretty light and you can go like this if you want maybe a gray or a little bit more purple or just like a straight up brown and like a little reddish brown I really like this one and I think it is a good palette if you just want a neutral palette so the balm meet matte nude is favorite of mine I haven't used it for a long time but I have loved this so much Next up we have a Makeup Geek M Many MUA. I think it was called Many MUA. I bought this. This was a limited edition palette. It looks like this. This is pretty neutral I think. It's like only these two colors that maybe aren't that neutral. But this palette I really 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 like this. When I got it it was like one of my absolute favorite palettes I owned. I think I never have used it on my channel after I went over to English. So do you want something with this? I don't know. But really like this. I was so happy when I got it. I have tried some singles from Makeup Geek. So I know that I love the shadows. And this palette, it was super hyped when it came out. And I really like it. I have used this one so so much and this shade I really like this shade I don't know if you can see it but then one of the palettes that I think you may know that I would pick for this and it's the Infinite palette by Linda Holberg it feels like I talk about this so so much it looks like this this is a melt multi multi-use palette you can use it for like everything I mainly use it for my face but I use it for my eyeshadow sometime and I really like this. I think this has everything that I want in like a neutral makeup. I love to take like this swiggy like all over my lid and then maybe darken it down a little bit with 4 axe. This is such a good palette. Love this. I will buy this again. Um, when this run out, I think I maybe want to buy it, only to have one shade, that sounds crazy, I know. But this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. Then the two I have left. This, I feel that this is a neutral palette, maybe not everybody feel it with me, but it is the matte collection from Nabla, so it's technically, 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 technically. Not a palette, it is single shadows, but they was sold as the matte collection. And maybe not all these are so neutral like these, but for me this is a pretty neutral collection of colors. And this one, I have talked about this pretty much, not that much. I talk about this sometime. I feel that Nabla's single shadows are amazing. They are so so good. So 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 good. And the last palette I want to talk about. I think you can guess this palette as well. And it is of course Soft Glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of my 
top two Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. If it, maybe it is my top. I love Prism and Subculture, but this one, this is like my neutral palette. This is my everyday palette. If I would use makeup every day, but this is like this is my absolute favorite palette when it comes to something quick and something neutral because everything I do with this succeed all the shades are so good I love them so so much it is my typical warmer orangey color scheme with a, like a deeper mulberry and the glitters or the shimmers I like a lot it is not too pink that I think that Modern Renaissance or Modern Renaissance is too pink for me to really love it. But this one, it is like Modern Renaissance sister that like orange. Do you get what I mean? This is my absolute favorite when it comes to like do a fast, simple, neutral look. And yeah, that was all for this video. I don't know if you liked this video, but I've tried to do some like top five. But when I was looking in my drawer for like a neutral palette, I realized that I don't have that many. And some of the ones I have, I don't like. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And do you have any of these palettes? Do you like them? Or do you want to recommend a neutral palette? Maybe not for me, but for anybody that watched this video, just comment down below if you have a good recommendation. And if you have this palette, do you agree with me? Do you think these are good palettes? It would be so fun to hear because I love to interact with you in the comments. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!